This is an international phase three randomized study of autologous dendritic cell therapy plus standard treatment, which is sunitinib versus sunitinib alone for patients with advanced RCC. With regards to study background, AGS-003 is an autologous immunotherapy that's developed from a patient-specific total tumor RNA, which is subsequently pulsed on dendritic cells, and it's designed to stimulate a patient-specific uh, memory T cell response. Sunitinib is obviously established as a first-line TKI with known anti-tumoral activity and also some immunomodulatory effects. The study uh, statistics were based on a median OS for unfavorable risk synchronous metastatic renal cell carcinoma survival in the range of 14.7 to 16.7 months in the targeted therapy era. And phase two study data of AGSO3 plus sunitinib and unfavorable risk uh, metastatic renal cell carcinoma yielded a greater than 30 month median OS and one third of the subjects in that study survived for longer than uh, 48 months. So these data would suggest that there is a significant unmet need that persists in synchronous unfavorable risk metastatic renal cell carcinoma despite the advances of targeted therapies. This is the study design. Basically, patients who present with their primary tumor in place and metastatic disease, which can be measurable or unmeasurable, undergo a tumor collection phase. The tumor is evaluated to demonstrate the presence of clear cell histology. The patient is reevaluated to make sure that they make study entrance criteria. They are then randomized in a two to one fashion uh, to either the vaccine arm versus the standard treatment arm. Then they then go on to start sunitinib, and after the first cycle of sunitinib, they are started on vaccine in the vaccine arm and followed over time with the uh, primary endpoint being overall survival. It's an open-label design with no placebo control, and the arm that does not get vaccine does not undergo leukapheresis. As I said, the primary endpoint is overall survival. Additional endpoints include PFS, response rate, immune response data, as well as safety. The trial is unrolling with active SPA agreement with the FDA. Bob Figlin and I are the global PIs for the study, and there's a strong collaboration with the SUO CTC, primarily championed by Brian Lane in North America. The eligibility criteria, patients have to have newly diagnosed synchronous clear cell metastatic renal cell carcinoma and be a good candidate for cytoreductive nephrectomy. At the time of nephrectomy, autolog autologous vaccine production requires a small piece of the tumor, which is uh, dumped into RNA later. Patients can have measurable or non-measurable metastatic disease after nephrectomy because of the overall survival endpoint. They need to be a good candidate for targeted therapy, which would be sunitinib therapy at least primarily, although there is allowance for a therapeutic switch to other compatible TKIs or mTOR inhibitors in the case of toxicity or early progressive disease. Patients can have no underlying autoimmune disorder, no history of, of, no history of or known brain metastases, and no more than four baseline HEN risk factors and obviously, because patients present with their primary tumor in place, they automatically already have one risk factor. Here's the current study status. <clears throat> Enrollment commenced early in 2013. There are currently 94 active global sites in the U.S., Canada, Israel, and Spain. Italy, the United Kingdom, and the Czech Republic sites will be activating in late 2013. And we expect to have 130 active sites anticipated by early 2014. We currently have greater than 150 patients who have been enrolled for the tumor collection phase of the study. The baseline demographics of these patients, median age is 58, the vast majority are male, the vast majority have locally advanced disease. 75 percent would be characterized as intermediate risk based on the HEN criteria, 25 percent would be characterized as poor risk. In terms of risk factors, 14 percent have only one risk factor, 61 percent uh, have two, 14 percent have three, and 11 percent have four. One of the challenges that, challenges that we've had in accruing patients in this trial is the uh, higher rate of non-clear cell histology, which was significantly higher than what was initially expected. We expected a rate of 10 to 15 percent, and currently the rate of non-clear cell histology, which would render patients ineligible, is 24 percent. Thank you very much for your attention.